Hello, Watershed family. Last night, we spent some time together celebrating Palm Sunday, the day when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey as the conquering king, the coming Messiah, and the crowd shouted, Hosanna, save us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They worshiped and celebrated. And then just a few days later, that very same crowd was shouting, crucify him, because Jesus did not turn out to be the kind of Messiah they thought he should be. They expected him to come and set up a political system, but Jesus didn't come to set up a political kingdom. He came to set up a heavenly kingdom that would rule and reign through the way of love, loving God above all else and loving our neighbors as ourselves. And it was very different from what the crowd expected and they were disappointed. Now you just read in Matthew chapter 11, verses 15 through 19, what Jesus did next. So after riding into Jerusalem, Jesus goes into the temple and he drives out these people that had set up a marketplace in the court of the Gentiles. Now the court of the Gentiles was supposed to be this place where people from all nations could come and pray and seek the God of Israel. But the people had turned it into a marketplace to profit off of the worship to, of God, to profit off of these people coming into their nation and, and to benefit financially from the worship of God. And this would not have been the first time that Jesus had seen this taking place. Um, this had been happening for a long time, and Jesus had been coming to the temple throughout his life and throughout his ministry. You can read that in the Gospels. So why now? Well, Jesus had rode into Jerusalem as the conquering king, the coming Messiah. And as the conquering king, the coming Messiah, he goes into the temple to cleanse it of the corruption that had been taking place there. He goes and establishes his authority as king and says, is it not written? My house is to be a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And if we look at this, if we look at the New Testament and what the temple represented and what the temple eventually became, Paul writes about how now after Jesus has died and risen from the grave and conquered sin and death and ascended into heaven, and now that Jesus' Holy Spirit has been sent to earth and filled his people, now we as the people of God, as followers of Jesus Christ, are the temple of God. We are where God's spirit dwells. And God's temple, his people, are supposed to be people of prayer. People who rather than seek their own self-interest, seek to be people of God. People who worship and follow God. People who make God's kingdom a priority over their own kingdom. People who who now go out and love others, serve others. People who live out the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so as you read and study the rest of this devotional, I want to challenge you. Where have you and your own personal desires and priorities gotten in the way of Jesus' kingdom priorities? Are you a person of prayer? If the Holy Spirit dwells in you, have you made your body, your life, a place of prayer to seek God, to worship him, to seek out his will for your life and how you should be living your life? We need to be looking at ourselves all the time and asking God, where have my priorities gotten out of place? What are some tables in my life that need to be overturned and given over to you? as the king of my heart. May you be blessed as you continue your t spending time with God through this devotion today. And may you be blessed as you focus during this week on the sacrifice of Jesus and his resurrection.